You don't have a voice to spread the gospel. If you think that God can't use you, drop those lies from Satan. Satan is trying to make you think that God can't use you. I promise you this. I never thought I would be where I am right now. I never thought I would be this good at preaching the gospel. I never thought I would reach so many people. And even if you don't reach that much people, you're still doing God's work. You're still preaching the gospel. You're still trying to get souls into the kingdom of heaven. You're still trying to crowd heaven. Don't care if a bunch of people don't see your video or anything. Care about the people that you're helping. Let God use you. Use your spiritual talent that God gave you. He will give you wisdom. He will speak through you. He will help you reach so many people. Even if you're shy, he will give you a burning passion to spread the gospel. Let people know the beauty of the gospel through anything, through everywhere, through everywhere you can, through games, social media, in real life, street preaching, giving notes to people, whatever God puts on your heart to tell them. Be ashamed of the gospel and if you do get ashamed, ask God for boldness. I promise you that God can use you. All you have to do is put faith in him that he can use you. Just let God use you and watch him use you. If you think that you don't have- yeah. If you're not going to preach the gospel, if you're not going to preach the truth of Jesus 100%, not caring about what the world tells you, don't preach at all. It's either you preach it 100% good and truthfully, or you don't preach it at all. God, the Holy Spirit, made no mistakes in the Bible. So you have to preach from there. Not what you think, not what you care about what God thinks. Whatever that's in the Bible is true. Your opinion doesn't matter. But your opinion doesn't matter. The world wants to hear your opinion because that's what they want to hear. But it's not comforting people. It's not pleasing people. It's pleasing God and spreading his true message. If you tell someone a lie, that's not going to get them into heaven. That's not going to get them any closer to God. So don't be scared to preach the truth. If you're ashamed of Jesus here, he will be ashamed of you in front of the Father. This is what the Bible verse means. That if you're ashamed of Jesus, if you're ashamed to talk about his true word and change his word to try to align with what other people want you to say, that is an abomination and a false teach. So spread the gospel correctly or don't spread it at all. If you're not going to preach the... People say, if your God is so powerful, why doesn't he take out all the bad things in the world? Why doesn't he take out cancer, COVID-19, murderers, quote unquote bad people? The reason is not because of God, it's because of us. It's because we chose to. God gave us free will to do whatever we wanted to do. To either follow his rules or to reject his rules or reject him or follow him. Before Adam and Eve sinned, this world was perfect. But once we brought sin into this world, it became evil. We became enemies of God once we sinned because a perfect and righteous God cannot be next to sin. But Jesus, the perfect sacrifice took it all away from us. So now we have the free will to choose whether or not we want to reject Jesus or accept Jesus. But the reason that bad things are still happening in the world right now is because this is still a sinful place. Most people just follow what they want. When you follow your own selfish desire, and when you follow your own selfish desires, the world's going to become evil and eviler because you're not doing God's will. You're not following what God has for you. So that's why bad things are happening in the world. Not because of God, simply because of us. Because our free will. People say, if you're God, let's talk about hell. Hell is no party. Hell is nothing to be joking around with. It's the complete absence of God. It is God's wrath for the people that don't accept their son Jesus. Hell does exist. God talked about hell more than he did heaven. He explained that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Outer darkness, you can't even talk to anybody. Hell wasn't even made for humans. It was made for Satan and his demons. It lasts for eternity. You don't cease to exist. Eternity, never ending pain. So why are you willing to risk your eternity for some temporary pleasure? I to turn to God, turn to God now. Nobody wants to talk about the truth about hell because they don't want to lose followers. But they're scared about what the world says about them. I'm going to repeat what Jesus says exactly. I'm not going to share code one bit. If you don't accept Jesus Christ into your life, and if you don't live for him, then I'm not here to condemn you. But Jesus said that anybody that's not born with the Spirit shall not see eternal life. Here is the verse. You do not get saved by being a good person. Only Jesus saves you. You have to make a choice now.